Good morning, everyone. Is Rachel here? Well, actually, it's it's nearly midday. We might hear the mid. Oh no, it's after midday. Um, anyway, um, it's Rachel here, and um, we are going to do a little video working in Jean's journal. So we did this in the last video. Let's just see where we're at. Sort of working through, putting things in. Um, oh, that's right. Yes, I broke the bird, but you see, you can hardly see the repair there. Um, and yep, so I'm really looking at uh, adding sort of pockets and decorating any sort of bits and pieces that need to be decorated. So I don't want to cover all of that envelope uh, because um, it's lovely when when you receive it, Jen, you'll see it has a grain to it. So um, I might just add a bit of sort of collaging or something, or I could. I mean, I would just love a strip of this, I think. I have trouble sometimes seeing which way is the up. Um, actually, if I do it that without any writing, I can have it that way. It's the writing that has a direction. I just want to put that there, I think. Maybe not all the way up. Let's see. Yeah, I'm going to tear a bit off the top. And I need to get some glue paper. That would help. So how is everyone today? Hope you're well. We are well. It's a little bit chilly outside, but not too bad. It's not as cold as it normally is in, in November. It's cooler. It's not like October. You know, October was quite hot. Um, but it's uh, not as cool as normal. So I need a, I don't like that, you know, up and downness. So I have to figure out a way to do something else, um, to add something else. I'm going to have a look in my little box, not my box, my, you know, my treasures here that I have for, I'll keep that one for backing things. And that's another sticky glue one that I just put aside. Sticky glue things everywhere. Just clean my fingers. I need to have something coming across here, I think, to make me happy. So let's put the blue paper up there, bring you over here so we can see. I've just got to be careful because I, my wet one gets onto the digitals and that's not good. I do love this. I want to put that somewhere. No, that's not what this... I want something just sort of, I don't know, loose... You know, just something to sort of break up that line. I didn't mind that one. Oh, I like this one, but I would tend to like that one, I think, more up the top. Let's see what it, Oh, there are all my little saintly things. Are. Here they are. I've got to put those back. I've had those out doing things with them. That one I'll keep out. So you could just stick... Something like that would be pretty. Um, I haven't used, oh, isn't that cute? I could maybe use something like that. I haven't used that yet either. Pull those things out. Oh, I've got those too. I need to use those. So many things to use, and then you just don't use them all. But I have, I have done some projects, which I can't think when I've, I've put them. You know, I've scheduled them to, to um post um, I can't think when I do I want to I said I didn't want to cover it all up we'll get there in the end we do we do figure it out eventually I haven't used that one yet either oh I like that there Hmm. Maybe, maybe not. We'll leave it out. Something like this. Let me just cut this out. I don't know whether this will help or not. So how is everyone today? Did I ask you that? I hope you will. 
I think I did. I'm a bit repetitive. I get into trouble for that. Not from you guys, from family members. A sign of my age, would you say? Or have I always been repetitive? Hmm. Hmm. I'm tracking along quite well with doing my Christmas videos for the month of November. Um, I haven't, I need to start tracking on well doing my Medieval Mirage videos. And then the one that's really concerning me is the stitchery videos because I do need, I don't want to be um, worrying about that, you know, because I don't know what I'll be doing when I'm in Australia at Christmas. Um, but I do need to have every Wednesday my stitchery videos up. So that means I need to get be pre-doing things. And I think I like this. Yes, I do. Um, so I need to be doing my stitchery things. And I'm not on it at the moment. So I do need... I, I'm, I'm doing well with Christmas, as I said. But I'm not doing so well with that. And I need to get cracking somehow with the stitchery. Um, and have that done in advance ready to go i'm feeling like I, you know what i might like is a piece of book page i say i'm feeling like it because it is it's a feeling that that comes along um and i and it is a feeling it really is a feeling um that i i think oh i feel like that would be nice that's why i say feel like because i do i feel it just get this I don't I don't tend to keep the borders I keep that that's a lovely scrappy border to put somewhere but I won't keep it for this and I you know I just need that little extra bit there we go that's working for me now right all around here and I think that's a bit of fun oh yeah we worked it out sometimes those things are very challenging when you've got a challenging that's challenging to me I don't know if it's challenging to anybody else but it is challenging to me where you've got your joins Shall we call them the joins, where things are joined and you've got bits, all kinds of bits hanging everywhere? Put that down. And then I'm going to put that there. And that breaks up those lines a little bit. And I like it more. I need a piece of tall glue paper. I do like the muted colours in these flowers. Yes, I do like that. I'm very pleased with that. Toot my own horn. Toot toot. And I do want to see. There's always something else, isn't there? But you don't know until you try. Um, I just want to say, I don't have many of these things left. However, I could. Oh, yes, there you go. I just wanted a little something there again to break up the vertical lines snipping off my corners as I go because I like that well they are rounded in the image but I, I, I used to you really you know fuss and make them rounded but now I just realized you could just snip them off at an angle and it's, it gives you the similar effect to the rounded one love that there we go that's it that page is done now over here so first of all um, in this department here uh, I would put oh I quite like that let's just tear this down oh, I, I don't really need the cover let's put the cover away because I don't actually need that I've already done all my coordinating at the front for that so I can put that I'll just put that where will I put it over there Wherever I put it, it'll probably inevitably annoy me. Like I'll need to get something from under it. I 
I'm not feeling as stressed as I was. I should be feeling stressed, but I'm not because I have managed to finish some Christmas journals and um, and they a couple have already been sent out. Um, one person who asked for one of them hasn't gotten back to me, so I, I will be waiting a minute and then um, I will be offering it to the next person. Well, actually, I might even offer it, offer it to the next. I wait about 24 hours and then that's all you've got, 24 hours, because, you know, there are other people waiting. And, and if I don't get to make any more, that's it. Um, by the time you see this video, that, that issue will have already been resolved. But <laughs> I'm just, yeah, I, I, it's happened one lovely Donna, poor Donna. She, you know, for whatever reason, she was very busy and she didn't get back to me. And she missed out on quite a few journals, went on to another person. But eventually we, we got there, didn't we, Donna? Yours has been mailed out. So yeah, I do, if you've asked for a journal um, and it's been a while, you, you may be coming up on my list. Although I'm not, I haven't been doing my regular journals. Let's just say that. Um, I haven't been working on those. I've been doing Christmas. I need to get Christmas. And now here I've got the sticky. So I need to take that off and put something there. So I usually just put something pretty. Um, I do like those. Um, just put something pretty there here in my scraps oh, I have all these nice things we need to use these things just put those over there um, now I actually really like all these colors that are happening here I don't think I want that one but I do like the this these two colors so I'm wondering if I would like just to put a little embellishment on there I could put a window pocket on there, no, but that one's not doing it for me. I've got bigger ones. I wonder if they're too big. Let me just grab one. Oh, actually, I've completed some. Where did I put them? Here's one. It's a bit wobbly. It's a bit wobbly because I put a lot of glue on it. I wonder if that could be quite nice. I've got one that I put gl um, glitter on it. I can't see where it is. Let me just see my other ones that are more decorative. I had them here. You don't, you don't actually have to put... I'm thinking I might like one of these. You don't actually have to put a window. Like, you can just put them on without a window if you want to. Now, I'm thinking I like that one. But I might go down the green road as well because I've got red over there. So let's just... Now, what? Uh, where's my scissors? Oh, they're under my thing here. I don't know whether they're going to be too... I could trim them down if they were too big. And I wanted to see this one. I love these. I was going to do a video just with those, but we might as well just do them now. What I do with them is I just um, glue them to the glue paper one of this is one of the things i must do a video i get lots of questions what do you do with your glue paper what do you do with your glue paper and most of you know what i do with my glue paper but we do have a lot of new people um that are just starting out like we once started out so we need to always reiterate the different things that we do with things because there's always someone new and are curious and want to know and and um and also like you know i when i first started I was determined to recycle all this paper and I was determined not, I, I do have cardstock, but I was determined I wasn't using cardstock and I don't use cardstock. Um, and, and just through experience, if I could know, if I had someone telling me at that time when I started, it would have saved me a lot of time and, you know, through trial and also trial and error. Um, I, you know, I was, if you watch my first videos, um, I mean, I think a lot of you have said to me the style, the same style. I haven't, um, you know, I sort of evolved a bit, but it's still recognizable. Um, but I used to <laughs> glue layers upon layers of my glue papers on top of each other because I thought I had to create cardstock. I needed to have cardstock because everything had to be stiff. 
um, I didn't want it to be bending. And so that's what I did in my first videos, I think, if I remember correctly. I'll just glue these ones down. I'm going to do both of them. Um, yeah, because I, wait, actually, I should just see if they will fit on one of these bigger glue papers. Um, so, so yeah, so, but I do still use the glue papers, but I don't glue layers upon layers upon layers together. Yes, it's going to fit. I think I put my glue on here. No, I think I put my glue on here. Make your mind up, Rachel. Um, I don't do that anymore because you know what I found was, even if I glue, sometimes I'll glue, um, you know, copy paper onto a piece. I used to, no, that, so I vault, let's, let's go backwards. I would glue layers upon layers upon layers of, I don't know, three or four layers of book page together to create, in inverted commas, my cardstock. Not to print on, just to collage on top. Then I thought, oh, this is so thick. Um, I don't think I need it that thick. So then I started folding my glue pages in half because I thought I had I had to be so strong. So I would fold them in half and glue it like, like this, but glue it all down. And that was my base for a pocket or a tag. And sometimes I still do that. But really what I've found is if you just have one piece of your glue paper as your base, and you glue on the front and the back for a tag. That is, in my opinion, this is just my opinion, that is stiff enough. You don't need any more than that. And for a pocket, I think one layer is enough. Really, it's enough. Because what you find then, if you make it so thick and stiff, when you're gluing it onto your regular copy paper page, it's, I don't know, it's not nice. It's um, too thick. And the page and it has trouble sticking and then it's too it's too strong for the page and so i find that i'm enjoying using things that aren't so thick there that's the moral of the story i'm enjoying sometimes i will even just um if i've got a nice piece of this is a piece of copy paper it's 80 or 90 gsm um it's very nice quality it's um because like normally I can buy at the supermarket, you can buy a ream of copy paper, no brand or maybe Italian brand for uh, about four euro is the standard price. Sometimes you can get it on sale. Um, and I buy, this is the HP. I found that it prints really nicely, especially because I have an HP printer. It's the office, home and office paper. And that one, uh, I think I paid five euro something for a ream of it. But I buy it on Amazon, so I get a nice box of it. Um, but it's just the quality of it is so nice um, for my printer. I don't know if that paper will, if, if it, you know, like if you've got an Epson, I don't know if it will print out the same way. So maybe you have to have Epson paper. I don't know. But um, anyway, it's a nice weight of paper. So sometimes I would take this and just fold that down and glue it. And then that's a pocket. And I'll do my little snip. And I fold that down just so, because otherwise, you know, this is a bit weaker. That way it's stronger. But I've got a nice thin pocket to put on my page. And I think there's something to be said for that. Because our journals that we make, when you put everything in, they're quite often becoming a gator mouth. And I think that helps it not be a gator mouth. Um, I think I went totally off track there, but I don't know what I started out saying. Oh, I started out saying, um, I think it's going to be very nice having a pocket on there, and that's something different. I'm looking for my little um, thing, you know, my circle thing. Here it is. I put it in the wrong drawer. So I've got to decide which one. Let's cut the window out. So just poke a hole, and I'm going to show you something that Gail did that I thought was very clever that I always forget to do, but I'm going to remember to do it today. So when you've got something with, like, you know, square sort of corners... Um, you can go up and it's just an extra step but it does make things easier snip to the corners like that and I'm sure most of most of you watch Gail so you would have seen it there and there Gail Agostinelli and then you are here I just very carefully go around I'm moving my paper not my scissors on my curve there then and, and see just drops off i thought that was very clever gail so this is quite a gaping window it's a big one so i could stick some vellum behind but you can also just do them without the vellum you don't have to have vellum so we're going to cut them all out just so we can get the effect and see 
what we might prefer. Or if not, if not, maybe not at all. You just have to bear with me while I cut them. So they're just on one piece of paper. So they're not too thick, but they are reinforced because I do only print. And the reason why, I, um, and you all know this, but anyone new might not know, the reason why I print on my copy paper is because I don't get the same quality print. If I Even if I print on a more expensive presentation paper, like a slightly heavier, um, in theory, better quality presentation paper, I don't get the same intensity of colour as I do on my HP copy paper. And I certainly don't get it with the, with the um, cardstock. You know, the 160 GSM and up cardstock. It does not print out as intense as this. They seem to have, like, I think um, this paper, the colour soaks in really well. Whereas on, on those other papers, they seem to have a bit of a treatment. They're a little bit smoother as a paper. And um, I think the colour just sits on the surface. And so I, that could be, I'm not an expert, but um, that's what my little brain is saying to me. It could be that the colour is not soaking in, it's just sitting on the surface. I'm having a bit of trouble here. I'm ha getting repetitive strain injury. <laughs> no, I'm not, I'm joking. But my hand's aching from wielding the scissors. Well, I was, I was using um, glitter glue before, and some of those bottles are really stiff. So... Um, and yes, I, I'm getting glitter glue um, repetitive strain injury. I think that's what's happening. So I'll have to stop using the glitter. I've gone on the glitter road. You'll see that in some of my videos coming up. But I don't like the loose glitter because it makes a mess and I get it all over the house. It's just there for months. Not even I couldn't even say for days. It Literally, I find glitter everywhere for, for months and it drives me bananas. So I prefer the glue. And it seems to sparkle. It sparkles, so it just suits me just fine. Okay. Right, let's see. What might I like or not like? I like the green. I might like the green. Yes, I like that one too. But I think I like the green. So I'm going to do a little snip here in more or less. It's a very more or less business here. More or less in the centre snip um i'm wondering do i want to like that the thing about if you put the vellum you're not going to crash when you're sliding things in let me just grab a tag oh here's the other one this one's got vellum this is a narrower one and i put that see i put glitter on that one that's not in a video but um um i just wanted to grab a tag so when you slide the tag in, the only thing is you might crash there. Isn't that lovely? Oh, I like that. I think I'm, I don't know, I can't decide whether or not to put vellum or not. I oh, might as well, I've got it right here. It's not hard. You just take, take a piece of, it's not vellum, this is tracing paper. Just eyeball, cut a piece. Hopefully you cut it the right size. It's crooked. Now, some people have said to me, use double-sided sticky tape. I made a big mess doing that. I, I got all my tape over here. I couldn't I couldn't do it. It was uh, it was too precise. It was too much of a, a job of precision. Pre I can't even say it. Precision. I can't. Don't. Preciso. There you go. I can say it in Italian. It's easier. You know what I mean. It was too precise for me. So I'll just mess around with my glue. I put my glue around the frame and I put my glue around the edge of my paper so my goal is not to get glue in the center where the window is. And I've got glue on my table, and I'm a ding dong. You can also do acetate, but acetate, um, I kind of feel like you need to, well, yes, I don't think acetate glues so well. Like you need to, you can put glue just to hold it temporarily, but then you kind of need to go around it with your sewing machine. I haven't been getting my sewing machine out lately. So, oh. Oh no, I've got to go and cook lunch in a second. I was having so much fun. Well, I can pause the video and come back, can't I? We're not doing a live. I don't do lives. That would be too hard to figure out. So you've just got to make sure, especially at the top, I want to make sure that... See, I'm pulling, pulling my glue out. I want my glue to go as much to the edge as possible so that way it's not catching on things. Just give it a wipe. 
any excess glue and we have a nice window pocket. Now, I don't think I'm even going to put anything behind. I know you can see that there. So you could put like a pretty paper so that when the tag, maybe I will, not this paper because that's too much the same as the thing, but you could put a pretty paper under there um, just in this section um, so that when the tag is taken out, there's a pretty paper, but I don't think I will. What about this one? This is one of my painted papers. No, not that one. Um, yeah, so no, I'm not going to do that. Uh, because I don't want, oh, the, uh, the risk of doing that, if you do do that, is that um, it might curl and then it's going to catch on your tag. So you really need to stick it down really well. And I don't always stick things down really well, so I think we'll just avoid the problem totally. I'll just make sure I get that little corner down. That would be annoying. I'm just using my tacky glue because I want it to glue down quickly. And I always use the tacky glue when I'm gluing on the um, the tracing paper or vellum. Fairly similar. Vellum's just a little bit heavier. This is very wet. I've got to be careful not to go on the digital because it'll take the colour off. Okay. Um, yeah, this is tracing paper. So it's just, a, it's not quite as thick. It's a bit less thick than the other one, than the, the vellum. Okay. So I haven't covered all of that lovely craft paper. I've got that little bit there. That's okay. That doesn't bother me. I could have a little something there if I want. No, I'm going to leave it. So that's done. I've got this here. I might put something across there. Now this could be um, nice for writing. You could decorate it, but it could also be nice for writing. And that's the same with this. So I sort of, sort of sometimes just think maybe just a little something. For example, like... Maybe I could, let's just cut this out because you can write on these. These are, look wonderful with writing on them. They really do. I've mentioned it before. Johanna Klo, she, um, when she journals, she writes on the doilies and they look wonderful. I have a feeling my daughter forgot her big she has this big folder thing with a handle I can't think what an art folder sort of thing that she you know carries around all the drawing paper and stuff the architecture drawing paper and stuff that she has to I think I think she needed to bring that today I didn't see her take it take it with her and I she was already gone well we were already at school and I thought I didn't see her with that today I might like that up there let's see Hmm. I might what I might do there is maybe just put some of this planer paper. Just tear it down and put that there and then put that. Yes, I like that. Just keep it simple, that one, and I might decorate that one. Keeping it simple. Uh, yeah, I was saying I need to probably need to do a video. Let's do. Well, maybe we should do a video. I hope I don't forget. You remind me if I don't ever. If I don't sh rock on up with one of those videos, of what to do with all different ideas to do with the glue papers. I think that's a good idea. Unless somebody else has already done. I think people have already done it before. I mean, I've done individual videos, but I haven't done using blue papers but I haven't done like a one video with all the different ideas I'm going to put that there not down there I'm going to have it up there as I said some of them I just glue on repeatedly I let them dry until the glue builds up and then I just throw them out because um, you are gluing them until I can glue no more So that's that. That's done. I need to sort that out. That is something that needs to be sorted. And yes, that's good. And then here, we need to sort do something here. 
because I've got all these papers on my table, I keep pulling out the same ones. I haven't used much of this one. I think I might like to put that up there. Yes, maybe down a bit. Yes. Okay, good. And if you don't want to use, um, have, you, you know, you don't have extra books that you don't really care for, um, that you can use them as pages to glue on. Just It's really just so you don't mess up your table. It's not anything tricky. It's just so you don't have to keep on cleaning your table. Um, if you don't have something like that, you can do what Leslie does. She um, uses wet glue and she just swooshes it around and she d doesn't get it on her table. But I get glue stick all over my table. I also get wet glue on my table because I'm messy. I'm a bit messy. Okay, so that's that. And we might need something else. Uh, possibly, when in doubt, grab a, grab a book page. That's my motto. This is particularly nice old paper. I took the wrong end. I wanted the other end. Yep, I'm going to put that there. And will I keep it around? No, let's put it on that side. I mean, I used to have a big container of these folded things all glued together, but then I decided that they're too thick, so I stopped. Okay, and we're going to decorate it. Because we really do have a lot of nice places to do writing and things. Or stick pictures, if you don't write. Pictures are always a good option. I'm determined to use this somewhere, but not there. Um, nope, 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 nope. Getting low, getting low. Santa. Some of these are cute. They're not my go-tos, like the little peoples, the peoples, but they, look how cute that is. That one, some of these are very cute. Like I'm not more, I'm not so much into that. I will occasionally find a spot for those sorts of ones. Um, yes, the ladies are not really my thing, but I do sometimes find a spot. I love the little these little ones though. Um, and the one carrying all the prezzies. Let's see what else. And I love the boys with the snowball. But no, I like those ones, but there's not one. I'm not seeing one that is going to be right for there. So we'll move on. Moving right along. I haven't used many Santas. Santa hasn't been doing it for me. Normally I love Santa. Usually I use Santa a lot. Oh wait, he's a cute Santa. Let's see this one. So maybe I just can't see them. No, he's not. It's not right. It's just not. I love these. These are my favourites. These are my favourite, and I absolutely love those. They need to go somewhere, but they don't go. The colours don't go with what this... No, that doesn't go. Oh, my goodness. Don't tell me I'm going to be difficult. No. Oh, this is one of my faves. I love that. I love that, and then I reject it. Um, the Christmas tree is too big. No, the Christmas tree is not the right colour. Nothing is happening here. Oh, I like that one. Let's cut that out. And then we move into the doily section. So let's just see here. So these are gems from Dreams, etc. But you should know that by now because I've been I use them every year, and I I mention them. And I've got them her shop linked permanently in the description box. It should be there unless for some reason somehow I've lost it. <laughs> I didn't you know copy it. From the last one I didn't link the kits because I would have to go through and find them she has so many and I think she might even have new fussy cutting Christmas ones so you can just go in there and choose what takes you fancy you don't have to have what I have now that is cute but not quite right 
And I may just have to move on and find something else afterwards. I may have to reprint something. I might not, you know, I might have used everything that's... Because I've made quite a few journals. Oh, I must go and prepare lunch. Yeah, I think I like this one. Although it's a bit blendy, I don't know. It's not, no, it's not right. Just a minute. I know. What about a Mrs. Cog? I haven't used my Mrs. Cogs yet. Oh, I love that. Not the right colours. Because I've got this green going on. It blends in too much. Got this pussycat. No. Why is that? Oh, and these are Nostalgia Graphic Land. Oh, I love that. That one. That one even more. Let's glue that one down. Let's lock it in. Not faff about all day looking for an image. Look at that one. Lock it in, Rachel. Okay, and I'm going to grab, I'm just going to hop up, just bear with me one second while I grab my Christmas washies. This appears to have taken me quite a long time to do this, hasn't it? Oh, excuse me, I'm going to fall over. What time, how long have I been here for? Oh, only 36 minutes. Okay, well, I will pause the video, or will I end the video? Um, we'll decide that in a second. I'm just looking. Oh, I think I might have a spot. I have a spot of the spot. Yes, that's going to lift it. A little bit of colour. It's sticky enough. Yes, I like that. Uh, I do need to cover that because if that gets wet, then it's going to seal shut. Unless you want it to seal, 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 seal shut. Who knows? I've got those windows. I need to put those aside in case I need them. Nice, quick, convenient pockets they make. Do I want a little bit of that somewhere? No. I think I'll leave it for the moment and I'll come back to it. I need to do that bit as well, so we need to remember that. So what have we done? We've done that and that and that. So we've done quite a bit, really, because that's quite a big area and it's a difficult area for me. I find them difficult, but I like that. So let's just go through and see if there's anything else quickly to visit. And then I need to go and prepare lunch. What time is it? 1.05. Oh, I've got to make risotto for about half an hour. Well, that will be, yes, I can get that done. But I do need to go. So maybe I'll head off and we will do another video. Let's see what's next. I need to put something down there, but I can do that off camera. That's not hard. There's another window pocket, an oval one. Um, those are in. That one needs to be next. I think that'll be another video because that's quite labor intensive. Love that look at it for days I know I said that last time and and then then anything else that needs to be decorated like as in envelope oh this bit here that's got the letter in it I can feel it's heavy this doesn't need too much because it's a nice but it does need a bit of decoration because that's the back so anyway all right so I think I'll end the video here and thank you so much for watching and I will certainly be back with some more see you again soon bye